I'm going to show you how to get gold ore. I'm also going to show you how to smelt it. And then I'm also going to show you how to get to this new island. What's up, everyone? It's Dark Viper. I am back in Skyblock. Last video, I showed you how to play Skyblock. This video, I'm showing you the latest update where we got something that we've been asking for for a while, which is gold. So in this update, they added the Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Core, Buffalo Core, Buffalo Core, Buffalo Core. I don't know how to pronounce this, but we'll just call it the Buffalo Mob Island. We also have gold ore. We have this awesome iron war axe that uh, gives us a lot more damage. We've been wanting a better weapon for a while, so they gave us a better weapon and they added some gilded items which i'm going to show you in a little bit and a lighting station which i already bought of course they also added glass blocks which is pretty cool so they have these glass blocks we've been wanting for a bit so they added that and then they added flower pots which i'm not going to really feature in this but you can check it out maybe on your own and a bunch of other stuff including carrot cake and an industrial stone cutter and some other things so i'm going to show you in this video how to get gold so gold looks like this this is gold ore I'm gonna show you how to get gold ore. I'm also gonna show you how to smelt it. And then I'm also gonna show you how to get to this new island and make your first war ax. Cause you're gonna need this weapon in order to be able to beat the buffalo. I'm gonna call them buffalo. They're like buffalo rock things. They look like iron golem rock bunnies, whatever, turtle things. And then I'm also gonna show you some of the stuff that's coming up, including the gilded weapons, and maybe we'll get a stone cutter, but I'm also gonna show you a buffalo crystal and how to get them. So if you're ready for this, let's go. So in order to get this iron war ax, we need three crystallized iron, some steel rods, actually just one steel rod, and 40 iron. Iron and steel rod, no problem, I can do those very quickly. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and make that steel rod right now. Now, crystallized iron is a rare drop from iron ore. So you need to farm a bunch of ore for a chance to get a crystallized iron drop. It does take a little while to do this. I'm actually on a friend's island. His name is Artinus. He is letting me use his iron ore uh, little island here because mine is kind of just scattered and I don't have enough of these totems out like this. So I'm gonna use this island for um, accelerating this for the video. So you can see here, all you need to do is just farm these little ores. You'll get a chance we're gonna get three of them and you get a chance for a drop and it does take quite a few i think it's like one in 500 so if you think this is gonna be quick you may be better off trading for this oh, i just got one that was quick you see the in the bottom it says crystallized iron rare drop from iron rocks so we got one we need two more All right, so we got three of our crystallized irons and now we can actually make this ax. So let's go ahead and go to here. And we got three crystallized irons. We have a steel rod. We also have enough iron, so we're gonna go and craft it. And now we've got it. So this is what it looks like. So here we have that. Now that we have our iron war ax, we are going to go to the slime zone. So we're gonna need to buy a slime adventure key from this guy, from Mr. Adventurer. And we're gonna buy that. And we're gonna head over here. We're gonna kill some of these guys. So we got our island key and we are gonna head out now. Yeah, I just got a blue sticky gear too. We're gonna head over here and start killing some of these guys. So what we're hunting from here is we are actually hunting for gold ore and we're trying to look for these buffalo crystals or we call them buff crystals. We're going after the buff crystals and as soon as we have one, we're gonna be able to make this hammer. Now, similar to the slimes, you can actually kite these guys. They don't flash red when you hit them. They kind of do this little hop. See the little hop? That means you're hitting them. You can also turn up your volume to see if you're them if you hear the hits you know you've got them but just try to keep a good distance away from them you can see i just got one gold ore and a gold iron from that guy and we're going to try to keep this distance or else we're going to we're going to take some damage 
they are about the same distance as the slime, even though they feel closer. And then the other way you can get gold ore is you can farm these guys. So just basically go around the map and grab these and you have a chance to spawn gold ore deposits. And when you see the gold ore, you can farm that. There, here's one right here, I'll show you. Here's one right here. So we can run up here and grab this one. You can see I already got one gold ore. There's some more. There we go. So you can basically just run around the map and get those. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to keep killing the mob around the map to get our chance to get a buffalo crystal. Buffalo core. Buffalo. Buffalo core. Something like that. Something like that. Now that we have the crystal, we can head back to our base and we are going to go ahead and craft a hammer. Now a hammer does cost a crystal, a gilded steel iron, and a bunch of gold. We need 40 gold, so we're gonna go and start grabbing that. All right, we're crafting a steel rod, and then what we need is a gilded steel rod, and that costs one steel rod and some gold, so we're gonna go and craft that. And now we're gonna come back down to our hammer, and we just need five more pieces of gold, so let's go ahead and get that. Go get our last piece here. So we got 40 gold, one steel rod, gilded steel rod, and then we got the buff crystal. We're gonna craft that hammer, so now we have a hammer. So one of the things you're gonna notice about this hammer, a lot of people are gonna wonder right away, well, how good is it compared to the battle axe and how good is it compared to the wooden sword? So what I've seen from the hammer is it's slightly better than the war axe. So the war axe, I think it's about like one or two less hits against the buffalo. It's certainly better for slimes for sure. I think it's like four hits to a slime, which is not bad for a green slime at least. It's definitely, and it feels a little faster than the uh, war axe. That's for sure. The other thing you can do with these buff crystals is make a stone cutter. So let's go back to our base and you can make an industrial stone cutter with that. So let's go ahead and make one of those. So the industrial stone cutter costs eight steel rods and one crystal. So we're gonna go and grab some um, iron here. All right, so we should have enough now to make our industrial stone cutter. So I'm gonna go and make it now, and then I'm gonna place it. You see here, we got it. And I'm pretty excited about this. We've been wanting this for a while because doing it the old way, you can see here, it's been a struggle. It's been a, quite the struggle. So it's nice to have this out. So we're gonna go ahead and now, I'm gonna show you a couple more things here so you're aware of how it works. So essentially here we have um, the gilded steel rods, which is pretty much required for all of these. So you're gonna need five for this one, five for this one. So if you're making any of these tools, you're gonna need about 200 gold to be able to make any of these. And then this one over here, you need 40 plus the steel rod. So it's a little cheaper to make the hammer, but you still do need that crystal. So you need the buff crystal to make the hammer, but you don't need the buff crystal to make these better tools. These tools, in my experience, they will um, only give you one less click on this. So if you have the gilded pickaxe, which I actually lost due to a glitch in the game, I had it equipped and don't, don't jump off your island with your items equipped quite yet. They gotta fix that bug because I lost mine already. But essentially what it is, so it takes five clicks for this one, right? Two, three, four, and five. Well, with the gilded one, it only takes four. So it's a little bit better. It's not much better, but it's a little bit better. I wouldn't say it's worth the money or effort. So if you're gonna go and spend a bunch of coin to trade for it, don't bother. Um, just, just stick with the regular if you can. The other thing I would recommend is even though I just showed you how to get your own buff crystals, it did take me about six hours to get one of them. So I would highly recommend just farm on your base and then go trade on the Discord. If you don't know how to uh, trade yet, you can go to different lobbies and offer. Um, be very careful of scammers. There's lots of scammers out there. That's why I'd recommend going through the trade. So I am going to link the official Discord in the description of the video. So if you wanna join that, assuming the link doesn't expire, if it does expire, just go to the Skyblock group on Roblox and find the Discord link there. There's gonna be a link directly to their Discord 
through there. That's basically the same link that I copied in the description below. But you can go in there and I'm gonna show you a screenshot here. Here is where you trade. So you can just basically uh, do a search on the trading channel and see what's available for what you're looking for. And in the case of a Buffalo Crystal, I think they're going for about like 500,000 as of this video. I think they're going about 500,000 coin, which is not a lot. For the amount of effort that I spent out there trying to farm for my own crystal, I could have been sitting here farming and making money. So, you know, I've got all this, all this coin here. Should I waste a bunch of time on the Buffalo Crystal? Nah, I'd rather spend time on my farm and make a bunch of money that way. If you're looking for the crystal, I would definitely recommend uh, buy it off someone that's um, farmed for you because there's a lot of people that are, they've got little techniques for being able to get lots of crystals. Just trade with them. You can also, if you don't have a lot of coin, trade some gold then. So go out there, farm gold. Don't worry about the crystal so much. You might get one by chance, but farm gold. If you can get about 70 to 100 gold per hour, that's a pretty good rate. It's all, it's all about your play style, but don't let this get you down. So if you can't get a crystal, definitely go to the Discord. That's why I'm going to link it in the description because that is an important piece to this game. If you don't know how to trade, then you're probably going to struggle a bit on that solo. And you, you, I don't want you to rage quit in this game because it's so hard to grind right now. We also have the lighting table. I'm going to show you. So we basically have these lights. This is the game pass table. You can see here the lamp post. I have one out. That's what that looks like. looks pretty sweet. I'm going to make, I'm going to make tons of them for my community. So I'll be giving out a lot of these on during my streams on Twitch. And then there's also some of these little, these smaller ones here. We got the lantern, which does require a little bit of iron. So I'm going to make a couple of those so you can see what those look like. So I'm going to craft that and I'm going to craft one of these candles. So in my inventory here, you can see, I'll go ahead and put one of those right there. So it's basically the same object that's hanging with this block here. It's just a little cheaper to make. And then we also have this candle here, which I'll put right here. It's pretty cool little decorations. I love them. I'll definitely put a lot of these all throughout my base just because I think they look cool. Um, on top of that, we do have some other stuff like we have gold blocks, iron blocks, all that kind of fun stuff. It just requires a certain quantity of a refined um, number. So like this requires 10 bars, this requires 10 bars, this requires 10 bars. And then we also have glass blocks, which I don't, you can't craft them, you have to buy them. But I have some in my inventory here. I'll show you what those look like. So this is a glass block. So you can, now you can finally make a cool floor, you know, made of glass, kind of neat. That's, that's the main stuff here in this update. But again, I hope this video was helpful for you. I know I asked a lot of questions when the update came out and I'm really hoping that this will help you in your search and quest for getting a bunch of gold and grinding for some of these new items. And if you're wondering why my trees are so close together, don't worry, it is intentional. I know you need to space them out in order for them to spawn. In fact, this is actually a technique that I use for farming a ton of wood very quickly. And uh, because essentially, even though these guys aren't spawning, these trees aren't spawned, they will actually pop. So so if I went through here, if I go through here and chop these trees real quick, my next pass through, they're going to be all popped up again. So I'll, I'll farm this row and go through here. And I just go back and forth because otherwise, if I space this number of trees out together, oh my God, my base would have to be so huge. My island would not be able to sustain. So you see, they already popped up because they're ready. So as soon as the trees are ready, they're going to pop up immediately. But it does take a little while for them to pop up, right? So I can just do another pass through. See, they're already popping up because they're ready. It's like literally by the time you come back, they're going to be popping up. So this one's already popped. Um, I haven't used the gilded axe yet, but if you're wondering how good it is compared to this axe, from what I've been told, it's the same number of hits. It's only slightly better, but it's the same number of hits against the tree. So that's how I farm. So you can see there are these, these are already ready. It just doesn't make sense to spread these all out. Look how many trees I have. I have so many trees and I can farm so much wood. So I don't care how it looks. I just look at farm production speed. So that's why I do it this way. And that's why my base looks like such a mess because it's more just for myself, not for you guys. But I am working on a cool sphere base. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm, but when I've been working on, it's not ready yet, but when it is, I will show you a full video on it. You see where, how it's, how it's coming along here. It is not an easy thing to do. Making spherical bases, not a good idea. You can see this is kind of the start of it. This is some of, these are just for scaffolds so I can actually get up and stuff, but I'm going to actually leave, I think this side open so that I can have a view of the map. And also, um, I'll probably like make this like my building area. So I'll probably make a ladder up here. And then I'll have some tools and stuff and some trees and a garden and all that. It's going to be cool. Um, I'll probably make some maybe like a glass floor down here too. Or maybe I'll make all this glass. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. It's fun. That's the fun of Skyblock, right? You get to just 
keep going with your creativity. The other thing um, in this update, just so you know, the entity object limit has been reduced. So on VIP servers, um, the latest is that it's at 80. So only 80 objects can spawn. And then on publics, it's only 40. And that's to help with the lag. You're, at some point, you're going to lose efficiency with your towers because like in, the, in my case, I've got probably about 40 going right now. So I'd be fine on a public. I think I could make almost 2 million per day if I auto clicked. You really don't need more than a million to do what you need. So if you are worried about, oh, I'm not, I don't have enough, you know, farm to make money. As long as you have enough to survive in the game and make what you want to make, you're fine. So that's why I only have that mini tower. I could, I could probably triple the size of that very easily if I really wanted to. It's just, it doesn't cost much to upgrade. But again, does it make sense for the amount of lag and the entity limits? Definitely not. What I would do is I'd probably invest in more of these types of objects. So if you're going to expand your farm to make more money, definitely go after bushes. I would say bushes over the grapes. Grapes aren't as good. Bushes are way easier and much more cost effective. And they just, they're just easier to run through. These have colliders on them. Um, the bushes do not. So when you're growing bushes, if you look at um, Artinus's base here, it's just easier to kind of go through and uh, you can just run through and harvest all these very quickly and, and you don't have to replant, which is also much more efficient. So if you look here, I'm going to, I'm going to harvest. He, he said I could harvest some of these, so I'm going to do it. See how fast it is. All I have to do is the F key. I don't have to replant any of this. That's super efficient. Now, if I come over here and I harvest some of his grapes, I got to replant these. That's just not effective. And price wise, check this out. Even the grapes are so much more expensive. They're so much harder to make. You have to make the, the, the truss, you got to do way too much stuff. But if you look at the sell, the sell price of these, so it's 22 coins. Look at the, look at the berries. It just doesn't make sense to do grapes. So definitely go berries if you can for your farms. That's why you're going to see a lot of players with berry farms these days. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button. I really appreciate those likes. They do go far for me and they actually help me get more views. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already because I'd love to make more videos for you. And for all of my subscribers, thank you so much for all the love in the past week. We've been growing very quickly and I see every one of your comments. I love all of them. And thank you again so much for watching. And I hope you have an awesome day. Peace.